फ्रेंड्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स लर्न अबाउट द सीड एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज सीड एक्चुअली द राइपेंड ओव्यूल और मेच्योर ओव्यूल इज नोन एज सीड दीज आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सीड ऑल द वेजिटेबल्स दैट यू आर सीइंग ऑन द स्क्रीन containing seeds in them what are the functions of the seed the main function of seed is to produce new generation of a plant it means it helps in reproduction by the help of seed the new generation of a plant is produced another function of seed so many seeds are used as food source living organisms use the seeds as a food source and also from different kinds of seeds the oil is extracted extracted and the oil is used for many purposes what are the parts of seed a seed consist of three parts number 1 is seed coat second one is stored food that is also known as endosperm and the third one is baby plant that is known as an embryo also a structure of seed seed consist of a seed coat it is an outer covering of a seed so many seeds have outer covering outer layer of a seed is known as seed coat or testa an other part of seed is known as embryo after production of seed in any plant having embryo in its seed that embryo is known as dormant embryo this dormant embryo are also known as sleeping embryo embryo consist of cotyledons what are the cotyledons cotyledons are the small seed leaves when seed start germination small seed leaves are arise from a seed then seed leaves these seed leaves are known as cotyledons if any seed when it germinate having only single seed leaf at the time of germination that seed or plant or is known as monocot monocotyledonous plant if any seed have two seed leaves like this then that seed is known as dicot means having two cotyledons and other part of embryo is epicotyle epicotyle means the region above the cotyledons from where stem leaves are arises and hypocotyle hypo means below cotyle means cotyledons the region below the cotyledons is known as hypocotyle and third part of embryo is pilumule the region where shoot arises that region is known as pilumule and the last one is radicle of seed the radicle of seed is a part from which root arises root arises from the radicle of seed and the shoot arises from the pilumule of seed epicotyle the region above the cotyledons when seed germinates small seed leaves are arise then seed leaves are fall down and then the stems and leaves and branches are arise epicotyle epi means above cotyle means cotyledons 
the region above the cotyledons that is known as epicotyle if in any plant the cotyledons grow upward above the soil then that kind of germination is known as epigel germination when cotyledons of any seed remain in the soil not grow above the soil then that kind of germination is known as hypogeal germination hypogeal germination occurs in wheat maize and rice in this bean seed the epigel germination occurs because the cotyledons continue to grow above the soil what is an embryo the part of a seed from which a new plant start to germinate when suitable conditions available for a seed if a seed having soil light water and temperature then it starts germination the embryo is the part from which a new plant is arises that is known as embryo cotyledons already discussed that the first leaves that germinates that are known as cotyledon if any plant having single seed leaf that is known as monocot if any plant having two cotyledons that is known as dicot plant what is hilum hilum is the region by which a seed is attached to its parental plant the region where seed is attached to its plant that region is known as hilum radical already discussed the part of the seed where the root develops root developed from radical of seed the root which developed from radical of seed that is known as tap root the root which arise from any part of plant that is known as fibrous root plumule the part of a seed from which shoot arises and from shoot stem leaves branches are arised Thanks for my watching my YouTube channel